Welcome back. Hump day. Yeah. So, <laughs> closures. Let's talk about closures. Um, let's talk about closures in life as far as, you know, say you, you stop being friends with a person and you need that closure. Um, you break up with somebody and you get that closure. You leave a job and you get closure from that situation. You don't have to deal with that, you know, no more, you know. Or, or we'll keep it real simple. This pandemic has has uh, affected things in a different way. Closures like you go to stores and they're not even open anymore. <laughs> so we'll, 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 we won't get into the crazy stuff. I tried to go to Taco Bell yesterday. Okay, you know Taco Tuesday, whatever. I tried to go to Taco Bell yesterday. I make an order on my phone online as, you know, as normal and go to the store to pick this up. One minute from two minutes from my house. No big deal. Get there. There's signs in the drive through all over the uh, <laughs> all over the drive through and the windows and everything. The store is closed. But all the lights are on and everything. So, I don't know. Is this a pandemic thing? Because there's a Wendy store on the east side that is similar. You know, I went there closed. So, what the hell is going on? And this is this is um everywhere. You know, somebody will have to chime in and let me know because... You gotta understand. I don't. I don't work. I don't have to leave the house. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't. I don't go to a job like you know, like like everybody else. And stuff. I mean, neither my wife. She works from home. You know what I'm saying? We get it from the house. But I mean, it's just. I don't have to be out there in this, so I don't know how. I don't know what's going on. Really, I mean, and honestly, I, I don't know what's going on and how this affects people's jobs. I only know what people tell me. You know. Um, the news is bullshit, so I don't watch that. You know, I st stay away from that. Um, but I just think it's crazy that is it so much other money out there that people don't want to work these bullshit jobs, or can they just not find people, or are people not working because of the safety issues and stuff? I mean, I, like I said, I don't know. I'm not out there, you know, so in the comments and just let me know, you know, chime in and really let me know what you guys think it is, because I, I honestly, I don't know, you know, and it's, you know, it's, yeah, I, won't, I don't want to say it's disheartening, but it's, um, it's somewhat concerning, you know, because, you know, my, my daughter got a job at, at a place and she got hired on the spot and did a, an, an interview and an orientation the same day and stayed for an orientation and it was just strange you know and i mean i know it's a shortage of people and i know things may this conversation may not even be valid in a couple of weeks i know i was aware that those extra benefits as far as unemployment ended and things like that so then people were going to be you know trying to get you know get back out in the workforce or whatever but that doesn't that money don't last forever you know what i'm saying it doesn't. I mean, how are you? You balling out with an extra three hundred dollars? Like that ain't. You know, if you were, if you weren't stacking that money up, if you were out here frivolously, you know, spending that money and not stacking up for a rainy day fund, because <laughs> outside right now, rainy day fund. It's it's raining everywhere. You know, I mean, it's just there is no there is no safety net anymore. You know, unless you got millions of dollars and gold bricks in a safe and stuff, and you gonna stash. But it ain't no safety net. You know what I'm saying? What people don't understand is if you work for a company, you are at risk. At all times. At risk. It don't it don't matter. Anytime somebody's cutting you checks, you at the mercy of the payers. And that's just what it is. You know, I, I was just talking about that yesterday. You know, I got got all my little stuff for YouTube and get monetized and all this, you know. And you know, whatever. 
but I wasn't in no like big rush and like let's hurry up and do it. You know, like that shit is what it is. You know, once you start letting people cut you checks and shit like that, you're at the mercy of the payers. You know, unless you're controlling the system. Otherwise, you know, if you don't if you don't see it either one of these ways, then you off the loop. You don't know how the game being played. You know, and you got to get in the loop. Y'all got to get tuned in, get wired in, because, you know, if you're not tapping into your resources and all of these things around you and stuff, and you got to be three, four steps ahead, not two steps ahead. You know what I'm saying? You used to say you got to have a side hustle, you got to have a second job. You got to have like five or six things going. You know, and that's the reality of it now. Things are different. Um, And check this out. Shit ain't going back. It's never going back to what it was. That it's only going to get worse. And I hate to be like this on pump day, but I only know how to keep it real. You know, do I see hope in certain things? Of course. Of course I do. But the reality of it is, right now, things are shitty. Things are confusing. I don't know what the hell's going on on the government side. It's just like, it, it is, uh, I can't even say it's organized chaos. It's just chaos. And I mean, and this across the board. One, you know, you know, one hand don't know what the other one doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, there's, there is no, there is no, uh, there's, there, there's no, there's no sync with this. No one, no one's synced up. No departments are synced up. People aren't synced up and stuff. I'm going to tell you like this. If you've got a happy life, happy wife, happy husband, happy life, whatever it is, don't fuck your shit up. Is everything going good right now? Don't fuck your shit up trying to do extra shit right now. Period. Don't fuck your shit up trying to do extra shit. Period. Because I'm going to tell you like this. It is crazy out here on all fronts. I don't even know how you can even be out here trying to navigate recklessly with everything that's going on. But people are still doing it, you know. Just this one's go. I was gonna try to make this light, but you know how this turned into. Don't don't get it twisted and think that you know. I'm I'm being I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to you know keep it 100. But like I said, we get back to it. On the closure side, it is crazy how all these restaurants and all these things are closed, and you know it's really like no notice, and it's just it it is just. I've never seen anything like this, ever. I mean, none of us have. You know, we just... If it's taught me one thing, if I learn nothing else else from this, if I learn nothing else at all from this, that family is key. 2,000%. Family, support system, all of that stuff. Key. Key, key, key. There is, look, get your shit together. Get your life in order. You know what I'm saying? Figure your shit out. But I'm telling you, you cannot move forward if you don't have a solid foundation. You can't. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, if you're running around with this hate in your heart, this animosity and this bitterness towards people and shit like this, get that shit out your heart. There is time waste for no man it is these days are getting shorter and shorter trust me and i'm not talking about daylight savings time stop fucking around with your life if you want to do something today sit back look in the mirror fucking put a plan together get that shit going let's fucking go let's go it's wednesday